some people, when they first encounter the charismatic renewal, can experience maybe a bit of a resistance or an aversion. And I suppose that's a relatively common experience. And I can totally sympathise with it because that was me. Um, I was in my early 20s when I first encountered the charismatic renewal. And I remember just feeling like this was very unfamiliar to me. It was not part of my experience of church growing up. And so I had a question in my mind, is this even Catholic? Some of those outward signs of the, the renewal, such as uh, praise and worship music, praying in tongues, um, raising your hands in prayer. I associated those more with um, some Protestant Christian denominations. So there was a bit of that going on within me. One of the other things I remembered about my experience was that I just felt it was very emotional. And I suppose maybe we've been a bit culturally conditioned to distrust emotions when it comes to our spiritual life. So um, I remembered, yeah, there was just a real reluctance in me to, to let go and a worry about what other people were, would be thinking of me. And I guess there's a real risk in, in that and a vulnerability in being totally open to God in that way. But there's a real grace um, that comes when uh, it, I found from my own experience when I was able to, um, to let go and, and to surrender and also to recognize that the emotions are actually a gift that God gives us um, in our spiritual life, but also our life in general, to be able to know him and, and connect with him. And the other thing was that, um, you know, sometimes we, there's, there's such an emphasis on those outward manifestations, those gifts of the Holy Spirit. But for me, what was really important was acknowledging the giver of those gifts, God who wants to pour his love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And that's really the core of what the charismatic renewal is about. It's not necessarily all about those signs and wonders and gibbering and f funny languages, but it's more about a deepening of our experience of baptism and discovering uh, authentic discipleship, personal relationship with Jesus and conversion.